Your little slice of hell isn't going to start growing until you build a gate, Your Eminence. Yeah, neither will heaven, boss. The souls are leaving your afterlife because they can't find their expected fate structures. Jasper's right, boss. You'd better look at the graph view, find out what kinds of fate structures you need, and get zoning. The souls are leaving your afterlife because they can't find their expected fate structures. Jasper's right, boss. You'd better look at the graph view, find out what kinds of fate structures you need, and get zoning. Oh, geez, boss, you're in a pickle. Have you noticed those great big colored spiky things with colored balls on the top? Those mean you're losing souls. Ah, yes, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Well, gosh darn it, Wormy, it's important. Think about all those poor wandering spirits without an eternal home. Actually, I was thinking more about the impact on the eternal budget. Lost souls equals lost pennies. Well, that's important too, I guess. Anyway, boss, here's what you do. First, let's look at the color of the lost soul spike. Hmm, it's blue. This means that here in heaven, souls are looking for humility rewards, but can't find any. Or it could signify that the heaven's humility rewards are full. Yeah, that too. In any case, the easiest way to fix the problem is to add more humility zones. Just click on the humility zoning button, which is coincidentally the same color as the lost soul spike and drag a new area of humility zoning nearby. In a few years, your losses will be a thing of the past. 
As you may have surmised, the color of the lost soul spike indicates the color you need to zone for. If you see a green spike, make more green zones, a brown spike, more brown zones, etc. Sometimes you can lose souls because your roads aren't connected. Like these two. Just hook them up with another road tile and say bye-bye to your lost souls. Bye-bye. By the way, sir, if you should ever notice one of those lost soul spikes with a miniature karma station on top, you might wish to check the road and karma track connections to your karma station bases and your karma portal bases. And if, perchance, you should spot a miniature gate on top of a spike, make sure you have enough properly connected gates to handle the influx of population. Why, Wormy, you were positively helpful. My dear Miss Goodhalo, Helpful is my middle name. I thought it was Herbert.
Strictly on the QT, Your Excellency. This imported labor is ripping you off. You'd be better off training your own workforce. Jasper's right, boss. You really should build some training centers in heaven and hell. souls, and more importantly, pennies, because you haven't built a karma station for the lucky stiffs who are going to be reincarnated. Hmm, if you ask me, that's not such a bad thing. The fewer bad souls that get reincarnated, the nicer the planet'll be. Well, no one asked you, did they? that neither heaven nor hell are evolving as well as they could, your humongousness. Well, that's because the boss hasn't tapped into any of those infinity rocks with an ad infinitum siphon. True. One wonders how long it will be before he actually figures it out. <laughs> My friend, 
Heavens at the Celestial Empowerment Division tell me that at least one of Heaven's ad infinitum siphons isn't touching any structures, roads, or rivers, wasting its empowering charge. Bummer.
Many souls will, after a time, choose to reincarnate themselves into a new body on the planet. It's imperative that you, the Demiurge, meet these souls' reincarnation needs. Unfortunately, the only way a soul can reincarnate is by going through a karma portal, which is a trans-dimensional nexus thingy that floats halfway between heaven and hell. When a soul enters a karma portal, it's instantaneously transported to its new body and its new life. Ooh, and it makes a neat little purple flash of light. This is all well and good, but it does beg the question, how are you, the Demiurge, going to get your souls all the way from here to here? Oh, I know, I know. Oh, all right, go ahead. The way to get souls to the karma portals is with karma vehicles, which run on karma track and are dispatched from karma stations. Well, that certainly clears everything up. No, really, it's easy. Look. First, click on the karma station button on your remote. Now pick a karma station. I'm going to choose the least expensive one because it's early in the game. Now, find an empty place near your road and drop your new karma station. You know, that building doesn't look anything like the karma station you selected. That's because that building is the karma station anchor that holds the real station in place, you silly. The real karma station is floating directly above it. Halfway between heaven and hell, see? Hmm, I see. But why is the Karma Station anchor all black and cracked? That's because the Karma Station hasn't been hooked up to the Karma Portal with some Karma Track, Grumple Puss. Watch. First, I'll click on the Karma Track button. Now, I'll click and drag a Karma Track from my Karma Station to the Karma Portal. Voila! I'm sorry, but I don't see any Karma Track. All I see are several cheesily cycling blue squares. That's because you're not looking up, silly boy. See, there's the karma track we just built. Like the karma station, the karma track is anchored in hell, but actually exists in between heaven and hell. If we watch for a couple of seconds, we'll probably even see a karma train go by, whisking souls back to the planet. Most impressive. I assume the procedure is similar in heaven. Oh, you betcha. In fact, since heaven and hell share the same karma track, I can connect heaven's first karma station to the existing track by dropping it next to those blue squares. Now, I've built a functional karma station for heaven that's connected to karma track that's anchored in hell. See? Remarkably well done, you relentlessly perky cherub. Is there anything else the Demiurge should know about reincarnation? Oh, probably. But those are the basics. Hey, wanna go get a root beer? Demons. 
Do not drink root beer.